I'm holding on your rope, got me ten feet off the ground I'm hearing what you say, but I just can't make a sound You tell me that you need me, then you go and cut me down But wait, you tell me that you're sorry, didn't you think, think I'd turn around It's too late. I said it's too late to apologize. It's too late. Take another chance. Take a fall. Take a shot. It's too late I said it's too late to apologize It's too It's too late It's too late to apologize It's too late It's too late to apologize Yeah It's too late to apologize Yeah I'd like to start by saying that I think the song choice was pretty good. I like the direction you were trying to take it. However, I think the execution of your plan didn't quite go as smoothly as it should have, as evidenced by the fact that the harmonies really were all over the place. It's hard for me to pick on any one of you as the cause of the disharmony. I think there's a little bit of everybody involved in that. That being said, I think all of you do a fantastic job when you're doing your little solo parts. Colton, I feel like this song is probably the best fit for you to sing, especially as a soloist. Haruka, your voice is so soft and sweet. I really love the way you sing those non-lexical vocables, like the ooh, ah sounds. Ryan, I really like that your voice really shined in this one. I believe you were on pitch most of the time. Well, guys, I think you managed to pick a song that none of you were comfortable singing there. Ryan, you got so much tone and vibrato to your voice, and you could have brought that across, and you didn't. Colton, we talked last time out about putting some emotion into the song, and you had a great opportunity to do it, and you didn't. And Haruka, you had the perfect opportunity on those high parts to really take it over, and you didn't. And when it came to harmonizing, it pretty much sounded like you're all in a rehearsal room trying to get up onto the same level and just missing by a mile. It was uh, not all that enjoyable to listen to, unfortunately, so not the best effort, I would say. Ryan is the standout for me simply because he has a very rich voice, a very confident voice. I love the vibrato and the professionalism, and he was on key quite frequently. Um, Colton, you were improved from the last time I heard you sing, but I'm still not hearing that confidence that Ryan has. I'm not hearing that passion behind the voice that Ryan has and you're kind of getting lost in the song you know it, it was kind of like 
he was overtaking you a little bit. And, you know, you don't want that to happen. You want to be equals in the song. You want to have the same amount of passion. You want to have the same amount of power behind your voice. You want to have that same amount of confidence. There was an improvement. Will it be enough? to keep you going? I don't know. I don't know. You know, I I still think you need a lot more confidence in your voice. You need to kind of, you know, push it out just a little more. Like I said the last time, you need to feel it more. You need to not just sing the words. You need to feel the words. Haruka, we had a lot of problems here, honey, this time we did. And and I really don't know where to go because it, it seemed like you took a step back from the last week that we actually had this conversation competition, um, the first episode, you took a step backwards. You, you're more off key this time. You were more off tempo and it seemed like you were more timid, like you were kind of lost in the song a little bit. I don't know if it's because you were singing with two guys and, and they have very deep voices and maybe you didn't know where your role was. I, I don't know what happened. I don't, but there were some places where I was like, yes, this is Haruka. I, this is, I, I can hear her. And then all of a sudden, especially when we started getting to the harmonizing and the chorus, we just lost Haruka. So I I don't know what else to say. Individually, this is an improvement for Colton and Haruka. Colton, I enjoy your tone more in this in the beginning. I heard some power in your parts as well. I'm happy that you're moving forward instead of backwards. Keep getting better! I understand you don't have as much freedom with song choice when you're in a group as you have on your solo, so I'm hoping that for the future you can choose a song more suited in your range. Like I said, the deep raspy voice is what I wanna hear, and more power again, because you have a much better voice than what you've showcased so far. Haruka, I have a different appreciation for your voice now thanks to your vibrato, and you sing well in your lower range too. You seem to have taken my tip about maturity into account. I had a feeling you would drag this group down considering how it went last round, but you didn't. I actually enjoyed your singing this time. Ryan, you had power in your voice as well, but you're losing it at the higher notes, it gets a little bit thin at times. For me you got a bit lost in the background here, although you did have some good moments. So I said individually this was an improvement, because as a group it doesn't really work. It sounds kind of messy. I think editing was a big part of it, the instrumental is too loud and the voices have no compressor added to them, so at some parts I had difficulties hearing you and at some other parts you are too loud. I added some compressor afterwards since I always edit the sounds for the episodes, but it's always best to do it on the actual voice recordings before you merge the instrumental. It gives a better result. Additionally, you didn't line up in pitch consistently, unfortunately there were some sour notes. It's rather hit and miss with the harmonies, sometimes you're getting it and at other times it's a mess. All three of you had good and bad moments, so this ranking is going to be difficult. I think you three might not have been the perfect match, but unfortunately you can't always get your most favorite choice in these group themes. With that in mind, I still think you managed to produce a result within expectations. Hello everyone, this is Ginga from Team Ongaku. I am so, so, so pleased to say that I got to sing with Tuni and Phoebe, who are both incredible vocal talents. And we're gonna sing Oh Glory by Panic at the Disco. It actually took a while for us to narrow down our song, but I'm glad we went with this in the end because it challenged us and also shows what we got. So we're here to bring it. All right, let's go. I can only hope it's true enough that every little thing I do for love redeems me from the moments I deem worthy of the worst things that I've done and saves me from myself at times of envy when I'm missing everyone. If I wake in the morning, I only need two more miracles to be a saint. Everything I promised, everyone I be, well I just did. Lately it seems like everybody's sick, everybody's dying. My head is lying, lying, oh glory I think I see around the bend And I think I tried any Boys get there in the end Oh glory When I'm looking past the silken sheets Take a breath and notice I'm between Every little piece of thread and memory Constitutes your dream. If I wake in the morning, I only need two more miracles to be a Everything I promised, everyone I'd be. Well, I just. 
I'll say to be honest I like that considering that you guys maybe haven't got some of the strongest voices in your group I think you made it work pretty well uh, Ginger that was a much more natural vocal performance I think it wasn't covered up by anything else and I like what I heard I'm suddenly not wanting to get you out the door in this round which is great I mean what a turnaround Toonie as well another well another surprise for me really is you've shown that you've got way more versatility than I was thinking that maybe you did and you can tackle some different genres and you know that's telling me that you've got a bit of a future in this competition as well. Um, Phoebe, this track clearly wasn't one for you um, with your voice, and I think it's a little bit of a sign that maybe you need to work on you know, getting some power behind it for when you need it in the later rounds. But you found a way to kind of slot yourself in with the others as well, which is admirable, and you know, you've worked within the unit, which is fair play to you. So. Yeah, good work, guys. I enjoyed listening to that. All right, Team Ongaku, you are my favorite team of this competition tonight. I absolutely loved everything you guys did. I love that you kept your personalities and your own individual styles, and yet you brought them together and made it work rather than trying to all find a way to change who you are to work together. You know, you just said, this is who I am, and we're going to make it work, and you did, and it sounds fantastic. I mean, there's, you know, a little bit of what sounds like almost like a, a, a Japanese pop, and then there's like something a little darker and more aggressive, and then there's something a little bit in between, and it all comes together in this really fantastic performance. This sounded so professional, and it sounded like you guys have been singing together forever, and I loved that you brought three different styles into it so that it was multi-dimensional. It wasn't just this one-dimensional song with a bunch of people singing the same thing. There were different personalities and you were getting different emotions from the song every time a different voice would pop in. If I had to choose a front runner, I'm going to give it to Jinja only because, and, and you know, for me, everybody was equal, but I give it to Jinja because I was so hard on her the last episode um, because I knew she could do better than what I had heard. I saw so much promise in her, so I really wanted her to bring her A-game, and I really felt like she did it this time, and so I'm giving her the props. It is so interesting hearing a collaboration between you three, because your voices couldn't be further apart from each other. None of your voices sounds alike, so each of you brought something different to the table, and I thought that was really fun. Toonie, your voice sounds more masculine in this, and I thought that was really interesting, but I think you excel more at your middle to higher register, for example around 225 when you sang Everybody's Dying in the background. I thought that was great, and I liked how you exhale at the end of that phrase. Might be a small thing to comment on, but the details make the difference. Ginga, you brought the rock in your voice this song was really needing, and this is such an improvement from last round. Your voice is so cool, I love the aggression, and I particularly liked how you contorted your voice around 220 when you sang end. Again, the details make a difference, or at least that's just something I wanted to comment on so you keep doing that. 
Phoebe, you brought the higher notes and the sweetness. However, in this song, sounding sweet is not really a positive thing. The others brought more of an aggression, so you needed to counteract your sweetness by things like growling, if you can do that. Just putting dirt in your voice for rock songs makes it more convincing. You don't need to sound sweet and delicate all of the time, even though that's what you excel at doing. It wasn't bad though, I definitely enjoyed it, but if you had done that, I would have been more convinced that you can take on more than soft songs. It was definitely a gamble having you three in the same group, but I was positively surprised and impressed. I can definitely hear the passion from all of you, so well done to all three of you. Well, I have to admit, this was my favorite submission from this round. You three are such strong vocalists, and despite the fact that you each have a distinct voice, I think you harmonized really well. I think there was a, a great amount of chemistry between you three. Ginga, you had a very solid performance. You were comfortable, confident, you were overall on pitch. The only thing I might complain about here is there really were no moments where I felt like you really shined and showed off what you could do with your voice. Tony, I think a lot of the time you were singing a little bit lower than what you're normally used to, and I really applaud you for doing this because I think that helped a lot actually with how well the harmonies popped out the way they did but sometimes I feel like you did get a little bit pitchy. Phoebe, I really like the contrast that you bring to this piece. Your voice is just so sweet and the song is a bit more darker and I actually kind of like that. But I think I'll go back to what I said about Ginga. There really were no moments where you really shined and showed off your voice. The group round for this season was definitely one of the most challenging rounds. We took a bit of a gamble and picked a Kelly Clarkson song and it was definitely difficult, but pushing boundaries is definitely important in a competition like this, and we, we had fun. Unfortunately, one of our members actually pulled out of the competition, and it was a little short notice, so we didn't have time to cover her parts as well, but we did our best, and I hope you enjoy. So we decided to sing Stronger by Kelly Clarkson, which is a severe contrast to what Kim and I sang last time, um, because last time we were just keeping it safe and singing a song that doesn't really have any high notes, but this time, like, whoa, it's a powerhouse, you know? We definitely faced a lot of struggles, and by a lot, I mean, oh, a lot. And honestly, I thought last time was bad, but this time just takes the cake, you know? But we made, we were alive, you know? Yay. The bed feels warmer Sleeping here alone You know I dream in color And do the things I want You got the best of me You've had the last love That you think that everything good is gone You got me broken down then I come running back Baby, you don't know me cause you're dead wrong What doesn't kill you makes you stronger Stand a little taller Doesn't mean I'm lonely when I'm alone What doesn't kill you makes you stronger, stronger just to me, myself, and I What doesn't kill you makes you stronger Stand a little taller Doesn't mean I'm lonely when I'm alone Heard that I was starting over with someone new They told you I was moving on Then I come back, I come back swinging you Try to break me, but you see What doesn't kill you makes you stronger Stand a little taller Doesn't mean I'm lonely when I'm alone What doesn't kill you makes you stronger, stronger just me, myself, and I What doesn't kill you makes you stronger Stand a little taller Doesn't mean I'm lonely when I'm alone Thanks to you, I got a new thing started Thanks to you, I'm not the broken hearted Thank you. 
in the end What doesn't kill you makes you stronger Stand a little taller Doesn't mean I'm lonely when I'm alone What doesn't kill you makes a fighter But steps even lighter Doesn't mean I'm over Cause you're gone What doesn't kill you makes you stronger Stronger Just me, myself, and I What doesn't kill you makes you stronger Stand a little taller Doesn't mean I'm lonely when I'm alone What doesn't kill you makes you stronger, stronger Just me, myself, and I What doesn't kill you makes you stronger Stand a little taller Doesn't mean I'm lonely when I'm alone Individually listening to your voices, Andrea, from the previous episode, I really do feel that you have improved. Um, You've come a long way in a short amount of time, um, so I do have to give you credit for that. And I really did like your voice, and I also have to give props to Kim. Kim, like I said last time, you set the bar for yourself pretty high, and you were really good at maintaining that quality. You have a beautiful voice. And when you guys work together, especially on the verses, it sounded really good. I did enjoy it. Enjoy it. It wasn't until you guys got to the chorus that it got a little janky. I, I really did not enjoy the chorus where you guys started singing whatever makes you uh, or whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Um, or whatever, however the verse goes, I can't remember it offhand. When Andrea dropped to that really low part, um, I do have to say, I mean, if you go back and you really listen to it, it was off key. It was just, it was out of your vocal range. It was too, too low. What you needed to do was transpose it so that, you know, it's still low, but it was in an acceptable range where you can enunciate and you can be comfortable and it's still harmonizing, but it's in that comfortable range where you're harmonizing. But other than that, other than the chorus parts, like I said, when you guys were kind of harmonizing together on the verses or when you were singing the verses individually, then it sounded really good. I mean, you individually, you guys are doing really good. Andrea, again, you're much improved. Kim, you did a great job at maintaining that high bar you set for yourselves. Uh, You did good job when you were kind of intermingling on the verses. It wasn't until the chorus that it fell apart. You guys got to watch that. When you're doing a chorus like that, you know, be careful, very careful, especially if you're going to try to do something in a register that's a little out of your comfort zone. And that really did sound like it was too low for you. I understand your plans got shattered when Caitlyn quit. Since Kim, you told me you were planning to let Caitlyn sing the belting parts. And when she quit, you had to do it. But you know what? That was probably the best thing that could have happened to you because all I could think was, finally, you're giving me power. I never got that from you through all of season 3 and maybe I wouldn't have gotten it in this season either had you gotten what you initially planned. You were forced to take a risk and it paid off. I am super impressed by both of you in this entry. Sure, I can tell you're super new to belting still since you tend to waver off towards the end and the pitches aren't 100%. But with practice you're going to get better, for sure. And your belting will become even more powerful. And don't think you can't do it because you've just proven you can. Please don't let this be the last time you take risks. Andrea, I was super duper impressed by you as well. That lower range is just gold. And your recording sounds better than ever too. You seem to have taken my tips about stopping peeking into consideration. And the mixing was top notch as well. Maybe take some tips from Kim about mixing. If she's willing to have a competitor that is. I think the main thing she did with your recording was compressor and adding bass. That brings out the low range more. Additionally, I think you did some really good runs. For some reason you are always at the best when collabing with Kim. So you two are obviously a perfect match. This entry really made me smile. Caitlyn quitting didn't kill you, so it might have made you stronger. Okay, so I understand that a trio became a duet suddenly at the last minute, and I assume there were some attempts to try to fill in the holes that were left behind. However, it's still pretty obvious there are entire lines that have gone unsung, and some of the chords just sound incomplete. Kim, I really loved how you belted out those higher notes. You did a very good job on that. Andrea, I think 
your lower register that you went into a lot of the time was a bit lower than what you're used to, but I still think overall you did a good job harmonizing with Kim. I think the both of you are fantastic singers. You sang really well during your solo moments. You blended in together almost perfectly in your harmonies. So I really applaud you two for working with what you had. It's really unfortunate what happened to you two. Okay. I like that performance, and considering that you were stuck with uh, one singer down at the very last minute, I think you've done pretty well with it. Um, Kim, a few things to point out. Uh, at times you sounded a little rushed, and because of that, it's thrown out a few of your notes in there. It wasn't one of the cleanest performances we've ever heard from you, but you know things that can be worked on. And Andrea, I think if you had just sat in your normal vocal range all the way through that, and we would have got some harmonising potentially and I think all in all a better performance. I mean, fair enough, you've got that uh, low register uh, that you can use in the future, but I think it wasn't that well executed here. It was a duet, effectively, not a cappella. So maybe leave that at home next time. Call on it later on when you need it, but there's a time and a place, and that wasn't it. Thanks for watching. See you soon with the result.